What's up guys, Wars of 1207 here, bringing you an unboxing, review and range test of the Nerf, Rebel, Secrets and Spies for Victory. I purchased this blaster Argos for £14.99 Great British Pounds. So if you take a look at the box, we can see it's an open face box, you can touch the blaster. Uh, here we have a holster, similar to the Sweet Revenge kit, apart from this only shoots 4 instead of 5. At the top here, for Victory, Secrets and Spies, comes with 4 darts and that stupid decoder thing. Uh, one handed blasting, holster, range claims up to 22 meters. Here on the side we've got advertisements for different blasters, the Diamond Dista, Strong Harbour, Messenger and Secret Shot. I have reviews of all these blasters on my page, so go check that out. On the back here we've got the blast, it's features, fires 4 darts in a row, holster, decoder, got advertisements for more Rebel blasters in the line. And it says here when the mission heats up, you're ready for a quick draw action. And then here we've got stages of how to shoot the blaster. But anyways, that's the box. We'll go into unboxing it now. So what you get inside the box is the blaster itself, the holster, four rebel darts, the decoder, if we just take a quick look at the message on the dart for the video's sake, and it says, oh my god, with a face, and then a bunch of different languages. Then we've got the instruction manual here, take a quick look at this, just shows the function and the features of the blaster. So onto the blaster now. The holster here just slides into the blaster like so. Notch, I believe it's ambidextrous, as you can see here. And then you just load the darts into the front here. Instead of a cylinder rotating, this is a smart AR system. But that's what it looks like with the darts in. And just like the hammer shot or sweet revenge, it's hammer action. So you just pull down the hammer and you're primed. And I will just fire. I'll give you a range test of the 4 victory now. On to the range test of the 4 victory, I'll be shooting off 12 shots, fight flat. So anyway, let's go on with the range test. 12 shots, fight flat, here we go. Okay, loading in the last four shots. Okay, let's go see the range. The lowest three shots are at 27 feet. The second shot is at 29 feet. This shot is at 38 feet. These two here are at 40 feet, there is a cluster of four here at 43 feet, and the top shot is at 48 feet. With ranges of 48 feet flat, that's average for an elite buster right now, especially with the rebel line, but anyways let's go on to the review of the 4 victory now. On to the review of the 4 victory, starting with the function of the blaster, you load the four darts into the front of the blaster, pull down on the hammer until it clicks, and pull the trigger of the fire. And then just repeat this four times. The blaster also has a smart AR system so you can load the dart in any chamber and it will detect it's full and fire it. The blaster is also capable of slam fire so if you just hold down the trigger, pull down and release, it will fire. You can also fan fire it. The colour scheme for the blaster is a traditional Rebel colour scheme. It's got a main purple body with the Rebel R and all the feathers. It's got a grey handle, pink trigger, a pink barrel with an orange nozzle. The blaster also has a tactical rail on the top, but no sling mounts. 
Here is a side-by-side -side comparison between the Full Victory and the Sweet Revenge. They are pretty much exactly the same, apart from this is one shot less. They are both hammer action blasters that come with holsters, apart from the Sweet Revenge holds five and is a cylinder, whilst the Full Victory only holds four and is a smart AR system. The blaster's profile is very smooth and sleek. It's got a very thin back, but the front is a lot fatter. Here is a size comparison compared to the side strike. The blasters are roughly the same size, but the full victory is a little bit more bulkier. The blaster slides into the holster like so. It's also uh, good for lefties and righties because you can put it in this way too, so you can have it on either side of your waist. And then it just clips onto your belt loop or trouser leg by this part here. Pros and cons of the full victory, starting with the pros. V-Blast has decent range. V-Blast has a smart AR system, so if you're on the run and you don't have time to put the dart in a specific barrel, you can put it in any barrel and it will still fire it. It's got a nice, smooth, comfortable handle. The blaster has a tactical rail on the top. The whole profile for the blaster is a nice, smooth and sleek design. You can prime the blaster with one hand so you are capable of dual wielding. So that's it for the pros, now onto the cons. Compared to the Sweet Revenge and Hammer Shot, the Prime is much harder. Unlike the Sweet Revenge holster, the 4 Victory holster does not have any dart storage on it. The capacity is very limited with only being able to hold up to 4 shots. Overall, I do recommend purchasing the 4 Victory. It's a nifty little sidearm, comes with a holster, and it's got great range, really comfortable and nice and compact. But anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, wasup009, if you link to my pages in the description. And as always guys, thanks for watching.